beginning of this cam up portion of my hate week video you might hear my voice sounding a little bit different uh that's because my dell webcam central fucked up a little bit and my voice sounds different but hey it's kind of funny you, you can laugh at it, it it's kind of funny but um <laughs> yeah anyway enjoy what up ttc nutter Tomorrow, week two, after that dominant 20-3 win on Monday Night Football against the Vikings, and hey, you know, people might say that we only beat them because the Vikings are a shitty team, well, you ain't seen nothing yet, you know, that 1-0 start, you know, you might say, oh, well, you guys went 1-0 before last year when you had, when you had a shitty year and only won 8-8, eight eight. hey, don't matter, we're coming to actually be 2-0 and and we're coming to prove all the haters wrong that say that we're going to be a shitty team this year because we're not going to be and you know Sealer fans I know you might be saying well hey you know you guys might be relieved that Alden Smith is a dumbass off the field and you know because you guys are remembering that 2011 game when Alden Smith just sacked the living shit out of Big Ben Roethlisberger back in 2011 and you guys might be like, oh, thank God, Alden Smith ain't on the Niners anymore. Thank God. Hey, well, our defense without Alden Smith is just as good as it was with Alden Smith. And if you don't believe me, just watch highlights of the Monday night game against the Vikings. Okay? Now, Reggie Bush was injured. Don't matter. Carlos Hyde, did you see how Carlos Hyde did last week? Two touchdowns, bunch of yardage. He just ran all over that Vikings defense, and there's no way he can't do the same with this Steeler defense. Jared Hayne, rising stud. Yeah, he fumbled last week, but other than that, he was pretty good. And Kaepernick looked much better last week. You know, everyone said that Kaepernick is not just not a good quarterback, you know. 2012 was he just got lucky and you know everyone knows how to stop him now well yeah the Vikings might have a pretty bad defense but that didn't does not mean that a good defense Kaepernick can't beat so all you Steeler fans uh, Mac main 70 uh, you know there's another Steeler fan who over the offseason I may have you know trash talked with I don't know why I did that. I honestly feel like an idiot for even, you know, giving this guy any attention. He's he's irrelevant. 
I don't even honestly know why I, yeah, I don't know why I wasted my time with him. And he's not even a real Steeler fan. He's a fucking Panther fan. He's a, yeah. When you admit that you used to like a different team before, uh, you get no credibility in the TTC. I'm sorry. So, yeah, you know, everyone watching this probably knows what I'm talking about. If you don't, you can look at some of my old videos. You can go down on my channel. You'll, you'll see him. I'm not going to acknowledge you. Uh, MacMan70. I, I think he made a video this week. Shout out to you. You're a cool dude, but you know your Steelers are gonna lose tomorrow. Um, and this is a good rivalry game, you know. Niners and Steelers might not be in the same division, but you know they're two of the most historic teams in the NFL. You know, both have five Super Bowls, or well, the Steelers have six Super Bowls now. You know, it's a rivalry game between two of the most historic franchises in the NFL, and it's one that you know I'm pumped up for. You know. I'm pumped up to go into Heinz Field and try to get a win. And, you know, I live in Cave Creek, Arizona. There's a big Steeler restaurant, you know, like right by my house. And I'm probably going to go there to watch the game, you know, see a bunch of... It's, it's sort of like another Empire chapter we have all the way in Tempe. You know, probably where I'm going to go watch the game. So, you know, tomorrow I think we got this, you know, Jim Tom Sula. You know, people doubted him, but I think he's going to be a pretty good NFL coach. Yes, it was stupid how he fired Harbaugh in the first place, but, you know, Tom Sula, you know, he, he knows how to be a coach. And, you know, our offense is going to get better. Our defense, even just like even without, even with all the players we lost in the offseason, even with no Patrick Willis, no Alden Smith, you know, no Justin Smith, you go on and on and on about everyone we lost. You know, we're still stacked on defense, and, you know. Offense the same, so tomorrow hopefully we'll be two and zero. Go Browns! That's right. Shout out to Maddie B, still legends. I burned your towel. What's up, bitch? <laughs>